It's a story that began 67 years ago. World War II, Germany. A world away from small town Enola, Arkansas, home to private first class Gerald Bryant. Bryant joined the Army in 1944. But this husband and father would never make it home. Hi, is this Ben? Yeah, that's right. Meet Ben de Starke, a 20-year-old Belgian postal worker with a deep connection to Private Bryant. He and a kid were engaged in combat in Merton, that's in Germany. And while he was trying to aid one of his comrades at the bank of the rear river, he was hit by machine gun fire and was unfortunately killed. This is the Ari Chappelle American Cemetery and Memorial in Belgium. 57 acres, the final resting place of 7,992 American soldiers. Plot C, row 13, Grave 53, the place where de Starke visits Private Bryant. I tried to visit his grave three to four times each year, mostly with all of our group. De Starke belongs to the Timberwolves Remembrance Group, Belgium. And it's a group that tries to show the public here how an American you know, unit looked like during World War II. De Starke says they chose Private Bryant's unit, the 415th Infantry Regiment of the 104th Infantry Division, because they fought and liberated part of their home region. To show his appreciation, De Starke adopted Private Bryant's grave. Their adoption is actually more symbolic. You keep the memory, you keep the memory alive, you gather you information about them. His research led him here, to the University of Central Arkansas, where Bryant went to school. Back then, it was called Arkansas State Teachers College. This is PFC Gerald Bryant. And this is where he's remembered. A memorial to the 46 alumni killed during World War II, says Jimmy Bryant, UCA's Director of Archives and Special Collections. We uh, respect the contributions that, that these men, 45 men and one woman, made during World War II. A lot more served, of course, than that, but these gave it all. They gave their life uh, for this country. There's also a living memorial planted after the war, 46 oak trees lining Donaghy Avenue. Tell us why is this so important to you to do this? It's, that's why it's important that we keep the memory alive to the people who assure that freedom and do that actually we can Live how we live today thanks to those people. People, heroes from another country, like private first class Gerald Bryant, a man Ben DeStarke never met, never knew, but will never forget. And then this is Gerald. Today he went into service. An album of memories. And that's you, me, and him. Each page. This is all about him when he was when he was killed. Takes this mother and son back. I never thought that he wouldn't come back to us. I never one time thought it, that he would. To a past. I think of him quite often what it would be like if it hadn't happened. Recently reemerged. Well, once you love somebody, the love never leaves, regardless of what happens. It's a story that began 67 years ago, World War II, Germany. It all began this past Veterans Day with our story about a 20-year-old Belgian postal worker honoring an Arkansan killed in action and the search for his family. Today's two stream, may I help you? Immediately, the phone rang. I don't know if you have heard from any other family members yet. And emails poured in. But I did some research and found Eva, Gerald's mom. That led us here, to Lenexa, Kansas, and the home of private first class Gerald Bryant's widow, 92-year-old Eva Bumpers. This is wonderful, it's what they've done for him. And their son, 71-year-old Larry Bryant. It was a sort of a shock to hear, about, to hear that they were doing it. 
Together, they watch. Meet Ben DeStarke. The face and voice of a stranger. I drive to visit his grave three to four times each year. Ben DeStarke, a man saving Private Bryant. That's why it's important that we keep the memory alive to the people who assure that freedom. And for the first time... I, can't, I just can't tell you, he's just the best thing in the world. And you know, I think he loved me beyond love, and I know I did him. We hear firsthand how this Arkansas hero lived and died. They told me everything. They told me exactly how he was killed, all about uh, the bullets that killed him. Eva and Private Bryant tied the knot in 1939. A year later, Larry came along. Gerald was a wonderful, wonderful husband and father. Um, he was smart. He was a good Christian gentleman. And uh, we had wonderful times together. Then World War II broke out. And the Army deployed Private Bryant to Germany. They wrote often one love letter Eva will never forget. Just remember that God up in heaven will direct the way that he wants me to go. And if it's his will, I go to see him. It's my will, and I hope it's your will. I'll always live with that. Because I know he was ready to see his Lord. I know he was. February 23rd, 1945. The only word I saw in the telegram was killed. I didn't see his name. I didn't see one other word. Private Gerald Bryant died volunteering to take a wounded comrade to get help. And so he did. He took him and threw him across his shoulders. And when he did, a flashlight came out of his pocket and it went on, on out of the young man's pocket. And it went on and they shot the light and killed both of them instantly. He was buried in a just in a trench with 17 of his outfit the day he died. Years later, this would be his final resting place, the Ari Chappelle American Cemetery and Memorial in Belgium. Eva and Larry have never been there, but Ben DeStarke has. Hi Ben, this is Larry. I'm the son of Gerald, and I want to thank you for taking care of my dad's grave. Um, he must be one fantastic kid. A son. Though I just never thought that I would lose him. A war widow. A stranger. Three people now linked for life through an American hero. And I thank you for everything you've ever done for him. And I keep you've kept his you've kept him alive to me. I think so, too. It's a walk more than three years in the making. Should I? Good night. A moment to bring generations together. Oh, hey Hi. there. Hi. Nice to nice meet you. A first time nice meeting. You. Give me a hug. Long overdue. Right. Well, maybe a little taller, but I think he's, he's about what I expected, really. Three people a 21-year-old Belgian postal worker, a mother, and a son. Well, I was a little bit nervous when I heard that he had arrived, but then when I saw him, I, you know, I, I wasn't nervous anymore. Connected because of one man. I really would want wanted to meet his family because, yeah, it's, how do you say, I wanted to, to get to know the people of he, he called his family. Yeah. He is Private First Class Gerald Bryant, and we discovered this story one year ago. When we first introduced you to Ben DeStarka. Hi, is this Ben? Yeah, that's right. A man with a deep connection to the Enola, Arkansas soldier. Three to four times a year, Ben comes here. To the Ari Chappelle American Cemetery and Memorial in Belgium to visit Private Bryant. Killed in action during World War II while volunteering to take a wounded buddy to get help. I've 
brought also a picture oh, from some pictures with from that. his grave. Oh, so good, this is from our last visit. Oh, how pretty. Yeah, honey, that's nice. That's now, for the first time ever, Ben's in Lenexa, Kansas. His search for the family Private Bryant left behind finally over. Can't really explain how, how much this all means to me to see the people he loved and he left behind and yeah, it's, it's a really marvelous experience. Ben adopted Private Bryant's grave in 2009. It's a very beautiful place and he's buried with his comrade in arms so uh -huh. it's a very nice place to be buried. Private Bryant's widow, 93-year-old Eva Bumpers, and their only son, Larry Bryant. I've been thrilled to death that he was taking care of Gerald's grave because he's worth everything to Larry and me. And um, so anything that Ben does for him, I'll, I'll love him for taking care of the grave. He must be a great guy. Anyone that would... Uh, <clears throat> do that for what they call the great generation uh, of what those people did, died for, set them free. Ben says it's an honor and so is meeting Eva and Larry. Still don't know a lot but I know how, how he lived, who his family was and even how he died so it, it's a bit of a rounding up the circle. A circle that will never be broken between a young Belgian man, a son, a war widow, and an American hero. We'll never know what sacrifice he gave for us. We know that. His death, his body, everything about him, we lost except his memory. But we know he lives on in our hearts and always will.